Hello everybody, this is Fernando for the latest Cryptids and Monsters video. Alright, another entry here based on your suggestion. This one will be a past suggestion and then I'll give this series a rest because I promised I was going to do this last one here and then wait for maybe a couple of weeks and then get back to it. So for this special one, I went ahead and I went to the very first Cryptid suggestion video ever. This was like two and a half years ago and I was able to dig up this suggestion which I'll showcase here. It has to do with a cryptid that may not even be a cryptid at all per se if but for the chance that it's really just an oversized real-life animal but there is the chance that it could be a cryptid from way back when like in this case just something in terms of a dinosaur like creature that yet again happens to have survived all those millions of years um, all these generations of it to the present day so still some current sightings of it purportedly mostly here in the US which also makes it very interesting and I'm talking about the cryptid that has the very memorable name known as the Thunderbird which you're looking at a drawing of here so what is the Thunderbird well let's go ahead and let's talk about all the nice information here for you so the Thunderbird is a mythological creature found primarily here in North America but if you kind of stretch things out a little bit uh, more north in other parts of Canada and then more south in Central America as well. It has to do with a creature that encounters include within Native American tribes all the way up until today because every now and then you will hear online people stating that they've seen these giant bird-like creatures roaming throughout various parts of the US in fact the earliest known encounters of it you have to go all the way back to Native American tribes long before I guess anyone else was here uh, fr uh, from the West world here in the United States there are stories there from those tribes that depict birds that are so large and so powerful that according to them these birds helped create the winds in terms of, of let's say of very strong almost tornado like winds and also they helped create thunder so in the sense that lightning would come out of their eyes or appear to come out of their eyes because of how large they were and then that way um, th they could help create storms altogether also on top of that there's the idea that these birds uh, whenever they were flying around because they were so large they were able to create rain in the sense that whenever natural rainfall was hitting them well because they were so large this rain would be diverted roll off of their bodies and then fall into the land elsewhere so they could help create rain out of the blue it made it seem like it was a sense of, of these native tribes almost paying tribute to these very large birds because they could be very helpful it seems like towards the environment but it also very very destructive too so that is at least a good essence of how these native tribes worked with uh, the, the mythology of the thunder bird now there's also of course the idea that they could be very very harmful other stories apparently tell of these large thunderbirds who apparently way back when were much larger than the depictions today but these very very large thunderbirds could have battles done with equally large killer whales I guess by the sea of some sort and when that happened much land was destroyed because there was so much havoc so much destruction created by these very large entities all battling one another so but still the essence seems to be that they are portrayed as a respective spirit of some sort or a respective animal of some sort from these native tribes now flash forward to more common sites let's say between the early 1900s maybe the late 1800s up until today and you'll find that they're further west in the United States maybe in some portions of Canada in fact one of the earliest known famous modern reports seems to be the tale of two cowboys who seem to have shot and killed a bird in fact every now and then online you'll see these purported old images of what looks like frontiersmen those dressed in the old western style uh, standing in front of a large bird 
bird of some sort either hanging behind them or standing in front of them let's say on the ground this thing that's dead and those are the ones that seem to pop up every now and then and such was the tale here according to these two uh, Arizona Cowboys they were able to shoot and kill this large bird they described it as being completely featherless and then its head it looked more along the lines of something involving an alligator but as far as any evidence of this this creature existing to today if it really was a true encounter unfortunately there's not much because they took it back to town and it seems like that's where the bird just disappeared over time who knows where it went if it was eaten or anything along those lines but as far as evidence pertaining to it no nothing along those lines today now as far as what this creature could be there's several versions of it there's the idea that I mentioned at the beginning where it's pretty much just an abnormally larger bird like think of a larger eagle or a larger uh, winged bird of some sort and when that happens that's all it is like it's maybe a cryptid but it's just a larger much much larger sense like you could imagine like an alligator being the normal size today but encountering one that is instead let's say four times as large same thing here there's also the idea that it could be a descendant of a long lost dinosaur a pterodactyl or a pterosaur for example because of some of the encounters of it being featherless or other encounters where it looks far more lizard like as well um, from some of those depictions that you've seen by now within the photographs seem to point to that direction too and then there's also the idea that it's just a completely different cryptid altogether just a very unique creature that just by pure happen chance happens to resemble something more modern like like a larger bird or a long lost dinosaur of some sort but that's just false imagery it is truly its own unique cryptid as well the good news though is there doesn't seem to be any tales of it let's say causing havoc destruction uh, malice anything along those lines towards people for whatever reason this creature it just lives on its own if it's still out there within the United States particularly the western side then it seems to just live pretty much its life on its own doesn't really bother anybody and vice versa I guess if you don't bother it then it won't bother you but every now and then there will still be sightings long long let's say far away shots of photos of this creature flying around and then of course more human interactions with it every now and then too but that seems to be the sense of it almost like a Bigfoot of sorts how how those, these things are just out there in the wild and they're just living their own life but that's it that's all the information that I have with this creature this cryptid known as the Thunderbird if anyone has any more info about it I'll be more interested to hear about the uh, tales tied to those native tribes way back when particularly the sheer size of these creatures because reading some of that information it reminded me of of, of Lord of the Rings and the dragons that are in there like smog and some of the other ones and how some of those dragons were humongous like even more so like far more larger than the size of mountains themselves that's the sense that I got when I was reading this thing and it made me curious as to why way back when there was such a huge size difference compared to today so if anyone has any more information about that that would be really good to hear any modern sightings anyone know anybody that happens to have seen these creatures in and around uh, the the western side of the US please post those comments below too as well and also be interested to hear what are your thoughts what is this creature altogether is it something in terms of a real-life crypt a unique uh, creature of its own or is it just an oversized real life animal that is misinterpreted as the Thunderbird so alright everybody thanks again as always take care